Sealed crafting writs are often considered ESO's crafting endgame, but their vouchers and amazing experience rewards have become the stuff of legends. Traveling by special writs isn't cheap and has crafting skill constraints, but new event writs have been introduced that trade lower voucher values for accessibility. Can they be used for power leveling? I'm Benevolent Bodhi and I'm here to investigate. In this ESO analysis, we look at the experience earned by the different kinds of special crafting writs. These special writs are rewards from top tier crafting writs and special event boxes. If you are not familiar with leveling by master writs, I recommend you check out my video on the subject. You'll find a link below. As your experience numbers may differ from mine, here are some details about my test character. He is CP level 1612. He's an orc. He's got the Grandmaster crafting title. And the only XP bonuses he has right now is ESO Plus and Enlightenment. Enlightenment is a special ESO catch-up mechanic that helps players who haven't played in a while to earn bonus experience to catch up to their friends. With the Amin stuff out of the way, let's look at the numbers. This slide shows all the experience earned by my crafter doing standard sealed crafting rates. Even with only Enlightenment and ESO Plus bonus experience, the experience numbers are impressive. Imagine these numbers with additional bonuses like experience potions, experience scrolls, and event bonus experience. Some interesting facts about sealed writ experience. The quality and voucher reward doesn't affect the amount of experience earned. The experience gained is the same for similar crafting professions. For example, consumables versus equipment. And equipment sealed writs earn the most experience. Now let's look at event writ. Here are some quick facts about event writs. 1. Decent experience. 2. Very low crafting requirements. 3. Recipes are cheap and purchased from the crafting table vendors. They are often tied to an achievement with an award like a hat, title, or skin. Sometimes they offer special rewards like style pages. Prices on guild traders are higher at the beginning of an event but often do not drop below the price of regular sealed writs. Finally, some red items require expensive furnishing crafting ingredients like hardwood. Here are my conclusions. In my humble opinion, alchemy writs are the best. You can power level new characters to alchemy 50 in 5 minutes. See guide link below. With a few skill points and stackable crafting reagent. There are no motifs or recipes in O, but they offer the lowest writ voucher rewards of regular writs. You can increase your chances of earning sealed alchemy writs by completing the two main alchemy achievements for learning the traits for potion and poison reagents. You can save time doing daily alchemy writs by pre-making the daily crafting writ items. Items stack and they take up about 8 inventory slots. Doing alchemy writs regularly on as many characters as you can will produce a steady number of alchemy sealed writs. These writs can be saved for the next event with bonus experience or sold for a decent price on the guild traders. I recommend doing sealed alchemy writs on new alt characters to power level them to 50 or on your highest crafter to farm championship points. My next favorite sealed writs are enchanting writs and provisioning writs. Let's look at enchanting writs first. You can power level new characters to enchanting level 50 in 5 minutes or less with help from another crafter who can make CP 160 glyphs. See guide link below. There are no motifs or recipes to know and it's easy to craft glyphs using the have quest filter at the crafting station. You can increase your chances of earning enchanting sealed writs by completing the enchanting rune translation achievements. However, the purple and legendary runes can be pricey. Let's look at provisioning writs. You can power level new characters to provisioning level 50 in 5 minutes or less. See guide link below. You can increase your chances of earning provisioning sealed writs by learning as many purple and gold provisioning recipes as you can afford or farm from event boxes. Do provisioning writs regularly to farm sealed writs, purple provisioning ingredients, and purple recipes. Pre-make daily provisioning writ items to save time and they only take up 6 inventory slots. Unfortunately, purple and gold provisioning recipes can be expensive, and legendary sealed writs require the expensive perfect row ingredient. Finally, let's look at equipment writs. 
You can power level characters to blacksmithing, clothing, jewelry, and or woodworking to 50 very quickly, but it will require a lot of crafting materials or items. There are two popular leveling methods. The first requires the help of another crafter to make a lot of max level items to deconstruct. The other method is to use intricate items farmed from daily crafting writs or purchased from guild traders. You can increase your chances of earning equipment sealed writs by learning as many complete crafting motif styles as you can afford. Jewelry crafting improvement items can be very expensive, so for experience leveling purposes stick to blue ones. Equipment sealed writs require several improvement items, green, blue, purple, and sometimes gold. Fortunately, if you do your daily equipment writs regularly, you can farm improvement items and surveys. Surveys are a great source of raw crafting materials that can be refined to obtain improvement items. Let's recap what we've learned. In summary, not all special writs are created equal for leveling purposes. Equipment sealed writs offer the highest experience rewards, but their crafting professions are harder to level and require a lot of crafting style motifs to be learned by the crafter. These motifs are needed to complete the writs and to increase the drop rates of sealed writs from daily crafting writs. Event writs can be a good source of experience, but their prices don't tend to drop below other sealed writs. Also, they often require a lot of rare furnishing recipe ingredients to complete. If you wish to power level new alt characters, it's best to use alchemy and enchanting sealed writs. These professions are the easiest to level on your own and easier to farm sealed writs for leveling. If you wish to farm championship points, do sealed writs on champion point level crafters. In closing, I hope that I have provided you with some useful information on sealed writ leveling and how to farm sealed writs. Thanks for watching! If you didn't take notes, you'll find a link to the written guide on my website at benevolentbody.ca down below in the description. What did you think of the video? Did you smash the like button or post your comments below? Until next time, take care and keep playing video games.